Okay, here we are, Windows 7, Chapter 5, Assessment 3. And Step 1 says to start WordPad, so we're going to go to the Start button down here. We're going to type WordPad, no space. And as soon as I get to WordP, then WordPad pops up, it's highlighted. So I can continue typing Pad, or I can just press Enter, and WordPad is open. Now we're going to open another document. And the reason that we wanted to open WordPad first is so that um, if we just go to the document and open it, it's going to open it up in Word instead of WordPad, and we're asked to use WordPad. So now I have to navigate to where my student data files are, and mine are probably not in the same place yours are. So I'm going to my Windows 7 folder, and then I have a student data files folder, Chapter 5. Okay, now you see that my folder is not empty. I just had a little issue there. So here's the WordPad document. I'm going to open it. It opens in WordPad, and then it wants us to copy the text in in this file, and it wants us to use Control A. So I'm going to click so that I'm I'm in my file here. I'm pressing Control A. It highlights everything, and then it wants us to press Control C to copy. Now, when you press Control C, you don't see anything happen, but it copied it onto the um, clipboard. And now it wants us to open the saving file, so we're going to do the same sort of thing here. We're going to go to our menu button, open, and then I need to navigate um, to my saving folder. And now I know that it's in my Windows 7 uh, folder. I don't have to go all the way back over here. I can just click on Windows 7, and then it's in my model answers spot. So that's how I navigated to get there. Assessment 2 is where saving is. So opening that, there's the saving a file. Um, and at the end, we can click here to get to the end, or we can press Control End on our keyboard. If I do Control End, it moves me down a little bit. And I'm going to do my typing, so I'm going to pause just for a second while I do that. So there I typed what I needed to type, and I'm pressing Enter. And now we're on step six. Now I'm going to paste. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcuts, Control-V, and that's what I had copied before. Now we need to reformat what's here. So it says, select that text. So I'm going to use my mouse and drag over the pasted text. So not WordPad can open and save, but just from WordPad can be used to open and save text documents. Um, Open the line spacing drop down list, which is right here, and click 1.0. And then click at the right end of each line and press delete to remove the extra space. Like that. So I'm clicking there, pressing delete so that everything gets pushed back together. Those were extra hard returns. And then it says to save the edited file. Um, as saving to, and then save it where we want to, and then print preview. So I think that might help you navigate. Um, we're going to use this place to save as right there, and um, you should be good. Save as a rich tech doc text document. You don't have to. You can just click save as, and it'll do it automatically. You don't have to take that extra step there. So let me know if you have any more questions. You are now on step 8C.